Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Stephen Hammer and welcome back to another belt review video. This is the part two video of my custom hammer championship belt that I got made from SA Championship Belts on Facebook. Uh, they originally made this belt for me and it came with a lot of headaches and a lot of flaws uh, throughout this entire process. It was a really... Uh, a really big mess. It was a really big headache. But I am happy to say that the headache is over. And the SA Championship belts did fix their mistakes. They did go back and make a brand new belt for me. And I have the belt here and it is perfect. But before I show you that belt, let's recap everything that's happened so far. So if you guys have not watched my part one video, you can watch that video. In the description box below however i will recap you as quick as i can here the first version of my custom title uh they did the strap with this really thick border i did not like that and i told them i wanted the smaller border so they went back and fixed the strap the first time so that was kind of like mistake number one when i told them i wanted smaller clamshell tooling and they just forgot so they had to go back and do a completely new belt, or a completely new leather. So they went back, put put brand new leather on it, new tooling. They sent me the belt. The plates were upside down. It didn't align right. The leather cut was uneven, and it was kind of a mess. And then the leather started cracking in the in the in the leather. It was like stripping off in my hands, crackling in my hand. And I'm like, what the heck? This is a brand new belt. Why is it falling apart so quick? I told them and they apologized for it. They told me that they would make a brand new strap. They would send it to Steven. And Steven would put the new leather on the plates and then just send it back to me. Okay, cool. They made the new strap. I had to send my belt to Steven. Steven was just going to take my plates off and then put them on the new one and then send it back to me. Okay, cool awesome from here things kind of went south again i sent steven my belt and he got black paint or black dye on the backing of my belt on my blue backing he got black paint or dye on the back of it he ended up scuffing up my my plates and he got black paint on my main plate as well at this point i was getting pretty annoyed i was getting really fed up and i was like you know what just send me the belt back I know you just messed it up. I know you got scuffs all over it. I know you got paint on it. Just send me the belt back and we're done. So Steven sent me the belt back and they decided to make me a brand new belt for all of this trouble, all of the scuffs, all of the paint, all the mess ups on the back of the belt. They sent me a brand new belt and it is here today. So I do want to commend the SA Championship belts for owning up to their mistake and making me a brand new belt in the process due to them messing up the plates and i do want to also add that they also refunded my money for the belt so i got my money back plus they made me a new belt so i thank them for doing that because they did not have to do that but they did so this was a really long process to get a belt I didn't think it was going to be this long of a process, but man, it kind of just turned into a, a huge, huge headache. But I am happy to say that the belt is finally done. It is here to my liking and I love it. So let's take a look. So like I said, SA Championship belts went back to the drawing board, a brand new leather strap, brand new plates since they messed my old ones up. They put the blue backing on the belt that I wanted. The snaps are on the right side of the belt. It is perfect. And one plus for this is that they even sent me Swarovski crystals to put in my belt as well. So I got those and I put them on my belt. And it was really easy to do.
The leather cut is perfect. It's exactly how I wanted it. It's even. The plates are nice and clean. The way that it was. It got that leaf pattern on the side of the, both the nickel leafs. Kind of like the old Ring of Honor belt. We have a stacked hammer piece on the belt. Globes, a crown. Kind of got like an AEW type border along the belt. Stones on the side as well. And like I said, blue backing on the belt. So I think it just pops. A three plate belt. I'm so happy that all of this is over and they went back and did all this and fixed it. Ooh! I really appreciate SA Championship belts owning up to all their mistakes, refunding me my money, and making me a brand new belt. That is really good customer service. Thank you for taking care of me. The belt is beautiful. Thank you guys for all the help. Thank you for sending me extra stones for the belt as well. This is what the new belt looks like over my shoulder. I also have to thank my friend Samir for designing this belt as well. A great guy, he designs championship belts and uh, he designed this for me and then I eventually got this made into a real belt. So thank you Samir for designing this for me and I actually have a real belt in my collection that was custom made and not like a WWE belt. As you guys know, one thing I like doing with my belts is making sure they do snap up and they do align. So with this being a brand new belt, I'm hoping that it does snap up with no problems. So let's figure it out and see if it works. There we go. Yep. Thanks snap. There you go. Boom. Just like that. Awesome. It's so good to see a belt that snaps with no problem at all. Woo. Baby. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like about videos like this, please consider subscribing to this channel as I start to upload new videos every single week. And with that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.